<laughs> Let's get started here. This is a great week for Las Vegas with oh, the yeah. world of technology kind of taking over our town. Oh, it certainly does. The Consumer Electronics Show CES kicks off today. We've got Karen Castro, who's live at the Convention Center with a look at some of those gadgets trending at this year's show. Good morning, Karen. Hey, good morning, guys. Glad to be back. I'm so happy. I missed you guys during the last hour, but hey, we are talking all the cool gadgets here at CES 2015. We're inside the Las Vegas Convention Center right now, and it's really all about wearable technology. This is all the fuzz, all the buzz that we've been hearing throughout this entire week. Yeah, the 2015 International CES is going to be all about wearables, a wearable for everyone, even your dog, your four-legged best friend. I've got the Fit Bark here, which um, has a piece that will attach to their collar and will track their activity throughout the day and syncs with an app on your iPhone so you can get a picture of their health as well and uh, feedback so they're staying healthy. Okay, so tell us about this uh, watch here. So your normal wearable activity tracker um, will track your steps taken and your sleep and usually are worn on your wrist. This here's one from a Fitbit charge and I like the idea of the Wythings Pop here, which is a sleek, normal looking watch. So if you don't want something on your wrist like that, that um, all hidden but tracks all the same great stats throughout the day. Perfect, and tell us about this little guy here. So this is the amp strip. This is from one of our startup members here at Eureka Park in uh, at CES. And this is an adhesive, and this will track your heart rate, your activity, your rest. 24/7 will stick right on your um, on your body, so you forget about it. It's hidden, but still getting all those great stats and feedback. All right, and we have one more gadget here, and this is kind of all-in-one for your credit cards and your cards that you have, right? Yeah, so you can put together all of your gift cards, your credit cards, debit cards, all-in-one, and it will use NFC technology and will, um, when you go to pay for something, will go right up to the card reader mm -hmm. so you can leave your house without your wallet and never have to worry about it again. There you go. Very cool stuff. Thank you, Daniel. And uh, coming up in the next half hour, we are going to continue looking at some other uh, objects. But Kirsten and Brian, tell me which one is your favorite. The gift card one, because I always find like the Starbucks gift card in the bottom corner of the car two years later. So I like that you can get it on your device and just go ahead and use it at uh, the Applebee's or wherever you're going I'm for lunch. I'm still not trustworthy of those things, you know? I just, everything can be hacked in this day and age. That's how I feel. Kirsten's brought in a twist here, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> She's brought in a different point. All right, Maybe Karen. not for Kirsten. <laughs> Kirsten, Kirsten. Still skeptical of those not, kind of things. It's not the interview, it's CES. Hopefully there's some people there that can help stop some of that hack. So much, Ken. 160,000 people are in town because Las Vegas is really about high tech, especially this week. Oh, yeah, you know it. CES is here. The coolest gadgets, the newest technology, all on display. And we are hearing about everything from self driving cars to ultra HD TV. And Karen Castro's right inside the Las Vegas Convention Center in the middle of 3.2 million square feet, <laughs> giving us a sneak peek. Good morning, Karen. <laughs> Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, 3,200 exhibitors here at CES 2015. And last half hour, we showed you some wearable technology, very popular uh, this uh, in this year's convention. Now, we're going to talk about some other cool gadgets that you can see at this year's CES. Joining me this morning is Jim Barry, a spokesperson with the convention. And uh, tell us, you have a portable this flash is, here? This is very cool. This is the Nova. This is from a startup company. It's a husband and wife started this. This is a Bluetooth flash, wireless Bluetooth I can use with my iPhone. Yeah. So I can Let's take your picture, out. there you go, you can take this, and you can see the light, this is a LED light, it's only about $60 or so, so you can go ahead and then check out the picture that you get from only there. Only if it's and pretty. It, oh, it's very pretty. <laughs> this is one of these startup companies, so this is, and this is about $60, so they're over in our Eureka Park area of startups. Wireless Bluetooth speaker, this is from Speak Up, they introduced this last year, this year it's completely voice activated, so it's all Siri, we'll talk to you, you buy a new car, if it, do, it might have Bluetooth, older car, no Bluetooth, mm -hmm. probably has cup holders, so it's about $100 wireless Bluetooth speaker, and then this is the Avi, this is, you don't have to connect this to a smartphone, so you can listen to music, it's a full, as you can see, a complete, um, a complete uh, Google Android operating system right here on a smart wireless Bluetooth speaker. 
So we've been talking about a lot about these trends, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, these are very cool right. gadgets as well. We're ta uh, hearing a lot about wearable technology. Yep. What else is really popular this time around? Well, in addition to wearable, there is uh, security. You know, we're all living in the cloud now. We have a lot of our devices connected. So this year we have a new cybersecurity marketplace and cybersecurity session. So we want to be sure that all of our data is safe when we put it in the cloud. There you go. Just a little bit of what you can uh, expect this time around at CES. Jim, thank you very much. There's that picture. And I think, Kirsten and Brian, the flash works pretty well, I think. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good there. I like the Avi. Yes. Speakers. Yeah. That's a way to rock out. Yeah. Karen, that looks like it's from like a photo shoot, like your new headshot for Channel 8. That was pretty good for like one little <laughs> click there. It might just be. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks so much, Karen, for the update on CES. We love having everybody in town.